All right, so page three of the computer system notes. We're going to start by talking about HDDs, which is the hard disk drive. Okay, it's not very good. Um, and so what I want to do here is start by showing you a picture of a hard disk drive. So this is from Wikipedia, the source of all knowledge. Um, and so this shows you the insides of uh, a hard drive. I forget what brand it is. But anyway, you'll see that there is a silver platter in the middle. In this case, I think that there's actually two of them. And I'm going to zoom, zoom in on this part up here. So you see that um, these silver devices here, these are arms, and on the end of them they have microscopic um, sensors that are used to read and write uh, the hard disk. And if you zoom in a bit more, you'll see that there's actually, I think there's a total of four, which would indicate that there are two disks in this drive, um, one read and write head for each side of each disk. And if you look in the bottom uh, middle uh, of the picture here, you can see what looks like a little cloth, and it's a filter, so these units are sealed uh, so that no dust can get in them because they're really sensitive. Um, the, the, the disc spin up to about, I think it's <clears throat> maybe 5,000 RPM, something like that, and these read-write has just flowed on a cushion of air uh, over the surface of the disc. Right now they're parked on those orange ramps there, and the um, underneath this corner here, um, underneath that metal covering, are some strong magnets, rare earth magnets. and They're surprisingly powerful. So anyway, uh, the reason that you need a filter at the bottom of this is so that the things don't um, you know, expand or blow up under pressure if you change your elevation. So they need to be able to allow equalization of pressure without allowing uh, dust to infiltrate. You've seen a picture now. Um, so the first point is that it uses magnetized platters. I think those used to be steel um, or ceramic. I think nowadays um, they might be plastic or ceramic. I'm not sure about that. Uh, so let's just draw um, a rough illustration of one surface of a disk. So the surface, we couldn't see it in that picture, is divided into a bunch of concentric rings. So I'm going to only draw two of them, but the number that they fit on a two and a half inch disc, there might be something like 300,000 of these rings. These rings are actually called tracks. So they're very n narrow. And um, the tracks are divided into sectors. And sectors hold typically, um, nowadays, about four kilobytes of data each. And then you've got that the the read-write arm that I uh, showed you on the diagram there. So let's just label some of this. So this is the the arm. Uh, this crude thing here is the read read-write head, and I already did the track in blue. Bad me. Okay, and. Um, I'll just draw, there's a little hub in the middle uh, with the motor that drives it. Okay, so, um, operation of these things consists of the um, read, write, head, seeks, The correct track, so it moves in and out uh, from to the middle and outside of the disc, uh, wherever whichever track it wants, 
and then it um, waits for the correct sector to spin under the read write head. So sectors um, are used to be 512 bytes, half a kilobyte. Um, nowadays it's more common that they are 4096 bytes or 4 kibibytes in size. And the, um, the hard drive can tell the operating system that it's whichever size the operating system wants to use. And the uh, hard disk controller takes care of that. Okay, so this process, because we've got moving parts here, um, hard disks are pretty, they have a high latency. So it can take somewhere between 5 to 10 milliseconds for the arm to seek to the correct track and for the correct sector to spin under uh, the read-write head. Um, so hard disk drives have high latency. So I'm going to say, you know, in the neighborhood of 10 milliseconds, but they have high bandwidth. So the operating system will try to put data from a file into consecutive uh, sectors so that once it starts reading one, the next one's right there and there isn't any kind of latency while the next sector is read. And so the, the bandwidth of these things is in the order of hundreds of megabytes or mibibytes per second, and they have large capacity. So in the order of uh, terabytes or tebibytes. So that's why we still use them. Um, now, the other secondary storage option is not the S SDD. Let me try that again. It is the SSD, um, which stands for Solid State Drive. And they uh, are built from flash memory chips. So you get a bunch of those on a, a circuit board and um, there are no moving parts, so they're fast. Um, so solid state drives, they, they emulate hard disk drives to the operating system they look the same. They both have controllers that they can read and write sectors from. Uh, it has about um, about a hundred times lower latency than than a hard disk. So it's a really nice thing to have a solid state drive in a PC nowadays. Uh, when you boot up, um, it's a whole lot faster. I don't think it's a hundred times faster, but it's it's a lot faster. And it has uh, about five times the bandwidth. And this is compared to a hard disk drive. And that's the end of page three.